Welcome back to Sonic Chaos. We're in the Gigalopolis zone. I huh. thought it said Galapagos Islands for a second. I was like, penguins! <laughs> <laughs> there are no penguins here. <laughs> there are no penguins here. So, actually, I think it's worth noting that this... Like, I mean, while the audio has a, quite a, like, a few various differences, uh... It, between the uh, Master System and Game Gear versions of the game, as well as just the uh, Game Gear's uh, more powerful color palette actually making this game look a little nicer on the system, but, you know, it still suffers screen crunch. Although, considering how easy this game is, that doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of things. Um, so, the thing is, uh, this stage had a completely different song in the Game Gear version. Um, and actually, like, so I'm probably the only one who actually noticed this because I played this first. But when I played Undertale for the first time, I noticed that uh, Death by Glamour sounded kind of similar to the Game Gear version of Gigalopolis Zone. Oh, yeah? That was a banger of a tune, I'll tell you what. I'm trying to get to the tip top, all the top, tippity wow, top top. That sprint is not giving you much momentum. Yeah, Game Gear physics are dumb. I'm gonna use the Super Peel out instead, which also didn't do it. <laughs> hey, the Super Peel No, wait, what out. I'm doing is trying to land on the platform. That's what's going on here. Oh, okay. Super hey. Peel out. Yeah, uh, this is the... It was Sega CD. Yeah, Sonic oh. CD is what introduced it. It's also in this game as well as the next 8-bit game, and I wish it were in more 2D titles, to be honest. Okay. Wow. And then he just <laughs> fell off at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Like, I don't remember the... And I can just oh. jump into it. Okay. I don't remember the collision detection being this off in the game, especially when I was playing it. I remember it just being kind of... whatever. Like, I just remember it being kind of average, but I don't know. It's not like Sonic 1's collision detection, where it can actually fuck you over during the boss fights. Or to be specific, Jungle Zone's boss fight, but uh... I mean, you know... It is still a Man. thing. Bump all that. I like this invincibility theme, though. It's like, it's got a very get-ready-to-move-fast vibe. Because... Because of the vid sideways. You gotta go fast. Cause he's Sanic Hedgehag. Sanic Hag Horde. Hag Horde. Sanic the Hag Horde. The <laughs> what? Sanic the Hag Horde. You know what they say. <laughs> you be a Hag Horde. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Oh no! There goes your chance for special stage. We will see about that. Okay, we will. Bad day, friends. We gathered here today in memory of Evan's fucking rings. They're just gone. Ring are gone. Bye bye, ring. Rings from this whole game already, though. <laughs> Honestly, though. Okay, whose idea was it to put springs in the middle of a damn forest? We're not in a forest. Ah! This is still a good joke. <laughs> Gotta go. Moderately moderate. comfortable. Yeah, gotta go moderate. Obviously, the logic of Sonic games says the topmost path is the best stuff. And that's the same here. Look at those 50 ring. That's a lot of ring. I told you I'd do it. Okay, now what is this? Oh, those are bombs. Nope, no, they're, they're not. Springs. They're bombs. Lovely, Gabe. <laughs> Okay, here's my thought process, right? They're flashing, and they're small, and they look like mines. Everything's a bomb to Gabe. Gabe sees, Gabe sees bomb. bombs everywhere. It's a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you do have to worry about the time limit, and yeah, like I said, everyone seems to have a different obstacle, but there I got the emerald already. The main obstacle to that one is that you might end up going the wrong way. <laughs> Some of these have a bit of lack of direction, and, uh, there's a lot of, uh, tricking you into thinking that it's complicated when it's actually not in these special stages. 
They certainly rake. They certainly rack up the difficulty because I mean you need to spend all those time, all that time looking for rings. So I guess it's called Sonic Chaos because you're spending most of your time getting the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, when you first mentioned chaos, you know, you, you said, uh, I was that the enemy? The blue boy! The blue yeah. water guy! Yeah. But and yeah, but that's not the until boy. Sonic Adventure, which came out in 1998. Ah. Five years from this game. <laughs> However, like, I mean, that can explain something for, like, the US release. However, in Japan, this game is just called Sonic and Tails. Oh, look at that hit detection. I didn't you, you notice a real issue the there. The wrist was usually in Sonic. You just stand there and you get both. This one you had to kind of shimmy back and forth. I think go. that's a. Uh, I think that might be a uh, technical limitation of the master system. You can master only grab system. one at a time. Yeah, the master system. More like inferior system. <laughs> You know, um, that's probably true because this thing had the misfortune of competing with the NES. Correct. Hey, I mean, it's not the worst off in that situation. Let's talk about the Turbo Graphics 16 for a second. It was designed about... to, it was designed uh... to compete with the Master System and the NES, but it ended up competing with the Genesis and the SNES. Yep. Tubes. Oh. Why'd you get the invincibility music? What? You need to get the invincibility box because it's blocking the tube. Oh. Basically, the goal to this one is pay the fuck attention and make sure you turn at the right point. Because if you don't, you'll get sent all the way back to the beginning. Oh. Oh, I see how it works. Zero out of ten, do not recommend. I recommend everything. <laughs> oh. Even... Uh, like, it's just that one turn you need to make. That one turn at the end where I went up. That's like... But yeah, you go back to the beginning if you miss that. Tisk tisk tisk. Did you hear that, everyone? Evan recommends everything. Animal abuse. Oh, substance oh, no. abuse. Oh, no. Uh, flexing abuse. The folly of man has always customs. seemed like a, mo a very interesting concept to me, you know? Hell yeah. Man sucks, but man's great. Oh, look at those rank. He did the fast jump. He's still in the ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, what even is momentum? Who cares? Momentum is, uh, gay. <laughs> Only gay people can do momentum. If you are straight, then you'll just kind of float into the abyss. <laughs> What if you're bisexual? Well, I don't know. Then you can choose whether you want to, uh... <laughs> if, like, then you can choose, uh, whether you, like, have momentum or float into the abyss. That is a very big wibbly jibbler. What if you're asexual? Um, okay, uh, in that case, you, uh, uh you, you disappear forever. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Oh. Did you ever hear about the kid who dissipated through time? You never will. <laughs> of course, Conscient House. I do. It's good. I thought you were. <laughs> I thought you were quoting Conscient House just by yeah. your tone of voice, but I wasn't entirely sure. Yeah, that was the one where he was teaching class or whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> what was I teaching you? How to say English, right? Yes. My father sucks and fucking cocks fuck. It's like he changes his class like every five seconds yeah. in that episode. <laughs> it's like history is written on the board. What were we talking about? English, right? That wibbly jibbler. Something I like is up. if you actually like uh, if you actually have invincibility when you start the boss. Um, yeah, if you have an invincibility monitor when you start the box the boss when it like and the boss music interrupts it. Um, when the invincibility wears off, the regular stage music kicks in. Ooh. Entries. It's an unusual glitch, but I find it interesting, especially in the stages that have the really good music. <coughs> Excuse me. The good music, not the bad music. Only the good music. If it's the bad oh, music, me. then uh, you oh. die. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Oh no. Next time on Smash Team Games, Gabe gets sucked into a parallel dimension because he pressed the wrong button. <sighs> 
death. I, I don't think that has to do with parallel dimensions, but we don't have Will here to clarify, so we'll just go. Why does it seem like Will knows everything? Because <laughs> he does. He's a smart lad. Also, there's only six parts, All right? He is smart boy. 